So he's a young Elvis and he does a great job. He sings two or three or four tunes in an I act silly and carry on. It's one of those fun shows. I'm sure you're going to love that one. Uh, they sing Meryl. Some of them sing Meryl. I said, oh, I'm going to do a pool. Oh, she's good.
Yeah, they beat us. <laughs> Well, I really, I have nothing against leaping into known figures. That was Don's rule, and, and Don was the one that, he was the only one that could break it, and he did. And once he did, I found that I enjoyed the idea, and I've enjoyed the shows that we've done so far. I've really enjoyed watching him do the young Elvis, I think. I had to show him how to do the dance, though, and he was just... No, uh, to be perfectly honest, I don't get a chance 
to keep all of it because it's the property of Universal Studios and they had to keep a very tight grip on it. Uh, as far as my favorite outfit, I have to say what comes to mind is the Admirals. Uh,
It, it, uh, it looks like it's it looks like uh, it looks like it's all going to get sorted out, and uh, it's more than likely there will be an hour. In the back, we're getting down to the wire. We got about five minutes. Scott, hey, hi. Um, I like this first day that I think the relationship both of you built of uh, their characters is great, but the best relationship I've ever seen on TV, in the movies, the theater, anything. And also, um, a question for all of you. What do you think about the idea of a quantum leap movie? I love the idea of a quantum leap movie. Yeah. I think we all do. We all like this a quantum leap movie. Uh, the I approached uh, Pollock, who uh, is the head of the movie division, and uh, his feeling was that he didn't want this, I think he was wrong by the way, he didn't want to make a movie as long as the series was running. So again, it's another one of these double-edged swords. I think if the series is not picked up, we will, in the near future after that, make a movie. But I, I'd almost say that you can pretty well count on a quantum leap movie. I feel that um, we do a pretty good job with the concept of each episode putting it into the 45 minutes or so of screen time that we have, and with the limited budget we have, but to get into a, a feature with a larger budget, just uh, some of the special effects things that we could do, and the type of st standard story that we could do, I think we could make a pretty mind-blowing movie. We, we, we could make uh, the effects in that would be uh, astounding because we would probably show you uh, in, in much greater detail the whole complex uh, quantum leap, the imaging rooms, how that all worked. And Al, being a true hologram, would simply float next to him at all times, which would be neat. You could just stick on him like a little sucker fish. You know? <laughs> You're karate kid. No, I can't. No, I can't. I, I'm uh, too old to do it without warming up. And uh, if I did it without warming up, Diamond would come out and punch me out before I could do it. And then I'd be unconscious, and there would be a whole thing. Right? Over here on the right. Um, this is for all three of you. Actually, wait. You're my stunt guy. You come up here and do the kick for
and Belisarius Productions for their NBC series, Quantum Week. What he said is that February 14th is Quantum Leap Day. You know, I would have never got this if you all weren't here today. You are an important part of it, and so therefore, Quantum Leap Day, we give back to you. Thank you so much.